All right, so I got some goodies. I got the rear lights. I got the fancy cup holder. With my <laughs> who the hell smokes anymore? Cigarette charger. Yeah, you wouldn't put a lighter in there, I suppose. Oh, nice little weather cover. Pretty cute. Got that. Got these things here that have these bizarre holes. Look at the instructions for that. Got the lights. Oh wow, these look retro. <laughs> and I almost dropped her. Yeah. Pretty. So this bracket and this whole light setup, this definitely would be in the category that I would consider to be uh, cheap as fuck. Um, this un unpainted bracket under the fender. Uh, I'm going to put it together, but I will be taking it apart and I will be painting it because this, this is Canada. Things rust and uh that th th unacceptable i mean it, it it might be good for them boys in california but out here where we have road salt and i don't really intend to take the tractor out on the road but come on i mean seriously a little bit of paint a little bit of protection yeah but it's zinc coated no well will not cut it out here, I'm sorry. Not gonna happen. And this socket, I mean, the cheapest of cheapest of sockets you could possibly buy. Engineers, man. Okay, so I've got my rubber condom -y thing on. I'm not sure about these holes, man. Probably something goes in there eventually. Uh, looks legit. And my 25 cent crappy under engineered light bracket goes in like so. Yeah, man. Why the hell do I have a hole there? It looks like garbage. Anyway, so she's done. That will be painted. I just don't like the whole way this looks. It's just junky. Now, th this whole thing actually, I'm not very happy with. Um, so we've got the bracket going to the fender. And then this ugly ass nut. I don't remember if there's something that covers this, but this looks junky. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe there's something that'll cover it, but I don't know. It doesn't look really nice. Uh, where? All right. Let's we'll see if we can make that look pretty. That would be it for this guy. I'm going to put the hazard light on. appreciate the funky little angle of this light. I guess it gives it more reach or I don't know. It's interesting. I like it. Yeah, come on. Okay. I shall tighten you later, and uh, you go down there, and you go like so, with 
fix you up later. It actually says to put it through the back here in the crazy old manual. So that makes sense. Ugh, don't like that bracket. All right, let's jack her up. Ugh. Give myself a bit of room. High capacity safety stand. <laughs> it's kind of nice to be able to manhandle a tire like that. Definitely not <laughs> like the stuff that I handle or I teach my students to handle on a daily basis. So whether you're doing a big tire, a small tire, there's actually a trick to manipulating tires. Um, I'm going to do it on this one. I could just lift it up by hand, but if I had a bigger tire, something manly, uh, I would need a bit more strength. So by walking the tire back and forth, I can align the, the bolts. See, this one's a bit low. This one's a bit high. So to do that, if I walk the tire back and then I kind of move it around like so, I'm moving the angle of my tire, so a little bit more. I'm actually lining it up. And then, like I said, this is a really light tire, but I'm gonna grab a bar. It doesn't have to be too big. So you slide it under, and with your shoulder, you just kind of lift the tire up you guys can see this properly but I'm lifting the tire and putting it right in its spot so there's really really no uh, back breaking force involved so that was a small tire but I am doing this while filming so it always makes it a little bit more of a challenge um, that being said if you're actually sweating it out while installing tires and stuff, you're just doing it wrong. You should never be really horsepowering your way through a tire install. Anything really, I mean, it's technique more than anything else. So, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, the studs actually don't come installed on the back. They do in the front. So I did install them, put some Loctite underneath them, and I'm never going to take them out again. At least I don't know, I hope not. And uh, I'm just going to zap these on with the small impact, and then I'm going to torque them properly when I'm all done.